This will be the most direct to the point magic items tutorial you'll see. But first, I want you to remember that all of these items will increase your magic damage. So we will just talk about their unique features. Let's start with Enchanted Talisman, also known as the book. This item will regenerate your mana for 15% every 10 seconds. Which means it's a suitable item for heroes that use a lot of mana or heroes that deals damage based on their max mana. This item also lets you have a cooldown reduction of 45% and in case you didn't know, Every hero only has a maximum of 40% cooldown reduction. Winter Truncheon gives you this button which looks like another skill you can press. Upon activation, you will be frozen and immune to anything but the downside of this is you cannot move while it's activated. Pick this item if you think you will need to save yourself more often or if you need to buy time, this is also a good option. You can also do tricks like this which will enable you to buy more time to save yourself as long as you know what you're doing. Feather of Heaven gives your basic attack an additional damage and it will increase your attack speed. This is best for marksman heroes that deal magic damage. For me, this is a go-to item if you think you won't be able to utilize your skills and you will need to rely on your basic attacks. Necklace of Durance is a common counter item but more people are still not using it. Here's what it do. First, it will regenerate your HP and mana by 20% whenever you level up. Second, it will hinder with the regeneration abilities of your enemies. This is my go-to item whenever I'm facing enemies that has good healing and shield abilities. When this item is in effect, you will see that your enemies will have this broken heart sign. Divine Glaive is a penetration item. All you need to remember about this is to use it whenever your enemies are using a lot of magic defense items. I prefer to use this when my enemies have a lot of HP and are using magic defense items. Holy Crystal will give you 100 magic power and it will boost it by 21 to 35 percent. This item is good when you want to deal more magic damage. I prefer building this on mid to late game so I'll be able to utilize its passive more. Concentrated Energy is like our axe of magic items. It will increase your magic damage the longer you stay in battle. For that reason, this item is suitable for heroes that deal continuous magic damage. Ice Queen Wand will make your enemies move slower. This item is good if you want to annoy your enemies. I always pick this item whenever my enemies have a lot of fighters because they often lack mobility and they hate slow effects. This item will increase the chances of you hitting your enemies while they cannot hit you back. Glowing Wand is an item that deals more damage whenever you face enemies that have a lot of HP. When facing with tanky opponents, this is a good choice. This item is not so effective when facing squishy opponents as it will not be able to utilize its passive ability. Starium Shot gives you this ability in which whenever you use a skill, your next basic attack will deal through damage. The more magic power you have, the more damage you will inflict on your opponent. Activating this feature will also increase your movement speed, which makes it a good option for in and out situations. Clock of Destiny will increase your magic power and HP over time. It will also increase your mana. Use this item if you want your hero to deal more damage but also a little bit durable. If you plan on getting this item, make sure to buy it earlier in the game. Blood Wings will give you the most magic power any item can give but it also gives you the highest price. It will also give you a shield with the amount double your magic power. It regenerates every 20 seconds and while it's active, it provides a boost in movement speed. This item is good for burst heroes. Clean time will reduce your ultimate's cooldown reduction by 30% whenever you kill or make an assist. This is good for heroes whose ultimate has a significant impact on team fights. Lightning Truncheon deals an additional damage every 6 seconds which can hit for up to 3 enemies. Activating this will grant you 30% movement speed and I think this item is very nice when facing with squishy opponents. Genius Wand is also a penetration item but I prefer to use it against squishy opponents. This item simply reduces your opponent's magic defense. Flask of Oasis will enhance your healing effect and it will give you and your allies a shield whenever you cast a heal or shield skill. It means this item is good for support heroes. And that's everything I know about these magic items. I hope you learned something.